what I can say is there was a couple ups and downs and there was a moment where um, it did seem like the relationship was a no-go. Jeremy, what was it like when you opened up that email from uh, Ginger's dad and there was a 50 page document with questions and does that happen to all the boyfriends? <laughs> Well, I, I, I probably responded a lot like I'm responding right now. I didn't know. I mean, I was just, just kind of, wow. Okay. Um, it was intense, but I was actually pretty eager to fill it out and say, okay, let, you know, Hey, this is a good opportunity for, for them to get to know me. Um, it's tough for Mr. Duggar, man. Oh, he's yeah. Got all these girls, all these guys hanging around. And <laughs> I think if I had all those girls, uh, I'd probably come up with a document too. <laughs> I think too, <laughs> because something else is like, because we were so in the public eye, yeah. that there were so many people would come up for the wrong intentions. They with the wrong intentions of like, oh, I want to be on TV, whatever. Yeah. And to be fair, I think like that's a good thing. Like, I don't know, like to kind of sort through like real quick. I mean, is somebody serious? Sure. Like, are they really even gonna like give them the time of day? So and that questionnaire, it's just an initial. the questionnaire asks some pretty intensely personal questions. I mean, yeah. you have to like really be, you you have to know who you are and, and go through it. Yeah. And so it was kind of funny, but but I filled it down and I sent it back to him and um, I yeah I mean I, I appreciated that. Obviously, you think like, wow, okay, this is intense. But then, especially now being a father. I think I've looked back and gone, yeah. I, I can appreciate a lot more the way that fathers protect their, mm -hmm. their daughters uh, because I'm going to be protecting my little girls too. And <laughs> You're starting your own document right now. <laughs> okay. Wait, so, okay. so do all the boyfriends have to go through this? Like kind of like... I don't know. No, I mean, no. I don't think so. I don't think all of them did it. I think it was just something that my I dad also, had at that time. Yeah, I also wasn't from their kind of world. So right, I was yeah. totally from the outside. Yeah, so they didn't know I think Mr. Them. Duggar wanted to genuinely say, okay, who is this guy? Like obviously as a friendship with Ben and Jessa, but yeah. um, some of the guys that come around are kind of, you know, they've known the family for years or something yeah. like that. And the, you know, they've known the, the, yeah, you know, like Austin, they knew him for years before he was interested mm -hmm. in joy. So mm -hmm. I was just kind of from the outside. And so um, I think it was a way for Mr. Duggar to get to know me. Definitely. I mean, what was it like when he first told you that he didn't want you to pursue his daughter after all, after all of that, after, you know, getting to know each other for, you know, a number of months doing that questionnaire and everything. And then, and then also getting Ginger to say, you know, I don't know if I'm really into this right now. Yeah. Well, we don't want to give away too much before people get the book, but, uh, what I can say is there was a couple ups and downs and there was a moment where, um, it did seem like the relationship was a no-go. Yeah. And at that point, I just remember thinking one thing is I can't give up. I don't have the faith to give up. And so I'm going to keep, uh, keep prodding, keep, keep talking, uh, keep, keep engaging with Mr. Duggar. And, uh, and so we don't want to give away too much there. I know. But, it's hard to talk about it. I know. There's, there's, so, <laughs> many, there's so many good little tidbits. <laughs> yeah, but, but we gotta we got to let the readers uh, have a little bit of suspense. Yes, totally. I mean, what, what made you nervous about Jeremy at first? Because obviously, like like you said, he you didn't know too much about him. He wasn't kind of around. Like, you didn't know him before Ben and Jessica kind of introduced you. So what was kind of, what were some of your red flags, I guess? Yeah, I think it was just figuring out, like, I think as you're you're like thinking through okay who am i as a person you know and like what is his personality and him coming into this relationship or even into like our the circle i guess of friends like with ben and jess and them knowing jeremy but i appreciated him through them like everything i had heard but there's a time where it's like okay but they're not the ones who are going to get married you know it's like i am the one who would who would get married to him so i think as any relationship goes through those times where you're figuring out who the person is and um, you just want to know that you know that this is what is for you. And so I think it was just those wrestlings that I was going through. Yeah.